Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to Carson, California, which is in the Los Angeles, California area. Very densely populated location where there was a 4.3 magnitude earthquake last night. Pretty shallow coming in at around six miles deep. You can see over here at yahoonews.com, 4.3 quake strikes in Carson, California. The quake didn't necessarily do any major damage. If you guys felt the quake or, or know anybody that did feel the earthquake, leave a comment down in the comment section, please. But reading in this article here, apparently the 4.3 magnitude earthquake centered in Carson, California on Friday caused the Marathon Petroleum Refinery to lose power. And you're looking at a photo from the neighborhood last night near the epicenter of the earthquake. You can see people here in the foreground taking photos of the refinery. This was right after the 4.3 magnitude earthquake. The quake produced moderate shaking across wide swaths of the Carson area and that would be right in this area here. So once again, if you felt the earthquake, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. There were power outages associated with the earthquake and looking at the map over here at poweroutage.us, you can see the entire western seaboard is dealing with power outages right now as I I do this video. What's going on up here in Washington and Oregon appear to be weather related, not necessarily related to an earthquake. You can see there is a titanic atmospheric river making landfall right now at this present time coming in from the Pacific Ocean. This thing is incredibly large. It's got a lot of high winds associated with it. Coming over here to windy.com. I took this screen grab just about 20 minutes ago and you can see in the Seattle area there dealing with high wind gusts of nearly 60 miles per hour and you can see the high winds are covering a very large area extending from well up into British Columbia down through Vancouver, Seattle, Portland and south of Portland. This storm spans well over a thousand miles long. You can see it on satellite over here at windy.com. This system is extremely large and it's still making landfall so to speak right now as I do this video creating widespread power outages across the Pacific Northwest. Looking at Washington, right now 58,000 customers without electricity. In Oregon, 17,000 customers without electricity. California looking at 14,000, 14,000 in Texas, and 33,000 customers down from 1.1 million after the landfall of Hurricane Nicholas. That is an exceptional job considering there were over a million customers just a little over two weeks ago without electricity in Louisiana and they've almost got everybody's power back on after the landfall of a category four hurricane. I think that is pretty outstanding considering the conditions they've had to work in with debris and standing water and, and down branches and things like that. The guys and gals did a great job getting the electricity back on to the people of Louisiana. Uh, you can kind of get a little better scope of the size of this storm extending well up into central Canada and clear back out into the ocean spanning over a thousand miles long. That's what's creating the power outages, mainly up in Washington and Oregon, California. A little bit of residue from last night's earthquake, 4.3 earthquake, followed by two, maybe three aftershocks, two for sure. And if you guys felt that earthquake or know anybody that did feel that earthquake, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos, and from all around the world. Going back to Oregon, Salem, Oregon, photo here sent in by Lori of what looked like a mantis in the sky. Photo here sent in by Tracy out of Jerseyville, Illinois. Sun being influenced by Sahara sand and wildfire smoke. Vicky out of Melbourne, Australia. Unbelievable pink skies here. These are unedited exactly the way I received the photos from Vicky out of Australia. Also got some pink mammatus clouds here. This next segment was sent in by Mark R as he was driving on Highway 60 near Plant City, Florida headed towards Balrico, Florida. Florida of a incredibly ominous looking sky. You've got clouds literally that look like they're touching the ground as he's driving northbound on Highway 60. Chuck S. Monsoon Lightning. I believe this is from the, the Las Vegas area. Look at that. Look like panels moving through the sky. Luis C. out of El Paso, Texas. Yet another very intense pink sky. This next segment was sent in by Stardust out of Brazil. Of some more incredible lightning changes all kinds of different colors from 
pink to blue to light blue, dark blue, even got some purple mixed in there. Once again, video footage sent in from Brazil. Photo here sent in by Daniel out of Weston, West Virginia. Very intense, low to the ground, double-decker rainbow. Here we have a tall one sent in by CJ Balboa out of Florida. Big, tall, double-decker rainbow. Looks like a big gateway in the sky. Barbie and Dave out of Branford, Connecticut. Yet another pink and purple sky. That is unedited. This is also unedited. Photo sent in by Lori out of Michigan. Fiery orange sky. Photo here sent in by Lil Balbug out of Reno, Nevada. The sky is being influenced by wildfire smoke. Very thick wildfire smoke. Photo here of an airplane in the sky or something in the sky sent in by Tanya A. Not exactly sure of the location of the photo. Video here sent in by Nancy out of Titusville, Florida. However you want to perceive this, either as the beginning or the end of the rainbow, but it looks like it's touching the back of that truck as she's driving down the road in Titusville, Florida. Photo here sent in by Leanne out of Louisville, Kentucky. Of yet another very low to the ground. Super intense double-decker rainbow. Looks like it's touching the building over there to the left. Geronimo out of San Angelo, Texas. Sunset being influenced by wildfire smoke. Jeremy out of Crescent City, California. Some big spectacular beams spanning across the sky. Photo here by Everett G. out of Wilton, Maine. This is a sunrise being influenced by Sahara sand. Scotty out of Spokane, Washington. More big shadow beams spanning across the sky influenced by wildfire smoke. Nathan out of northeast New Mexico. Some incredible Incredible skies above New Mexico. Once again, these photos were sent in by Nathan, and they are unedited. That is exactly the way I received them. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.